The Lions have developed into real super rugby contenders for 2016. Building on from last year's success that included a Curry Cup title, they have maintained continuity in their playing staff that gives them a virtually unchanged squad for the 2016 season. After losing the first three games of their 2015 campaign, the Lions went on to record some sensational victories that included three wins on tour against the Blues, the Rebels and the Reds. Players like Elton Yankees, Lionel Mapu, Warren Whiteley, Howard Amnesi and Jaco Priel were exceptional throughout the Lions campaign as they recorded a total of nine wins and finished eighth on the overall log and second in the South African Conference. Heading into their third year under coach Johan Ackermann, the confidence and continuity they have built has the promise of potentially huge success for the Johannesburg-based franchise. If you look at the season in the general, and we talk about super rugby, I think we had our highest position in a long time, and the quality of rugby that we've played I think was good, and we didn't start well, and now we turn the season around. I think that's the pleasing side of it, but I think you know, still people would love to have more South African sites in the playoffs and we're not there yet and we know it's not going to be easy but uh, you know just looking at last year the amount of work the players has put in and the fact that we've achieved what we did to, was satisfying but we know the job is not done yet. We're going to play the same style of rugby um, but better. We want to improve on our decision making and, um, and the small things within the side. And that's what we've been working on and and that's what we're going to be looking to do. We're not going to make drastic changes. We're sticking to our principles, sticking to our values and our processes. 2015 was an incredible year for flanker Jaco Creel, who says that there is no more underdog tag to be attached to the Lions. I believe we're not underdogs anymore and uh, you can't ride on that forever. And we, we had the excuse in 2014, 2015 that we're not as experienced as the other teams. You can't use that anymore. You have to step up to the game now. You have to challenge the best sites out there, so you have to challenge for playoffs or for a trophy. It is an international competition, so if you want to ever measure yourself you and you play the Chiefs and you play the Crusaders, you know, you play against coaches that has been years of experience and have played and coached at the highest level, so it's a great challenge for one uh, person and also as a management group. Centre Howard Amnesi is also making great strides, epitomising the sheer hard work that has become part and parcel of a successful Lions culture. I believe it's enjoyment. We enjoy um, the rugby that we play, we enjoy training, we enjoy being around each other and, and with that um, comes discipline, being able to, to know, you know, to have enough fun but also know that you know, um, when it comes to, to hard work we, we need to put it and, and, and you know the results will always sort themselves out. It is a squad we, well, we still have a lot of growth that we have to, to, to do. Um, we need to grow immensely and make sure that we can, we can improve from, from the past achievements. And, and yeah, we, we're just looking forward to, to the new season. Emirates Elan Park is a, is a place that we're proud of. We want to make it as tough as possible for the teams visiting us. If the people talk about the Lions brand, just spread the word, uh, so bring the people out to Emirates Airline Park and show them what the Lions all about and, and we will uh, try to contribute to that and thank you for the support. I always take the confidence out of 2015 into the new season but it's, it's really important to, to put that aside and, and um, build on a new legacy which is 2016. We really want to improve from um, what we've achieved in 2015. I think that will be needed this year. To be honest, we, we don't want to sit in the mid-table anymore. Um, we want to compete and we want to be one of the best sides in the Super Rugby.